back like we never left BD. We're about to get into this One Piece 810. The Curly Hat Pirates arrive. Um, I'm still on page one. And the cover page is great because we have Red Legs F. And if you notice the Baratia, it has, it has been renovated and the door looks like Sanji. So that's really cool, man. Just seeing that is really dope. Like, Zeph has a smirk. Everybody else is excited. Good stuff. All right. Let's go. Jack. Yo. This guy. <laughs> Yo. How big is this guy? Oh, Jack looks like a beast, bro. Oh my. Okay. Let's go. I see the ancient form of Zuzu. No me, huh? That's a rare delicacy you've eaten there. Hmm. So he knows about devil fruits. That's funny. I didn't think there were any true warriors left on this island. Oh, wow. Y'all should have left back when the mangy mutt took the courtesy of showing you the exit. You've got enough warriors here to rival any of your big nations. Oi, Beppo. You lot are still in my care. If you don't want to fight, that's no skin off my back. That is definitely not how it's going to go down, Master. I may have become a pirate, but this place is still my home. Hell yeah. Our friend's home. I'll be damned. That far. All right, they going at it. War. Now Jack is going in against the dog. Jack is where now dog dog storm just came out of nowhere. For five days and nights through sunrise and sunset. With nary a pause or lull, the fighting continued. The Jack haters. There you go. Five days and nights Jack fought with two warriors. Okay. After ship after ship of reinforcements came in, we were unable to halt the advance of Jack's troops. Our enemies may as, may as well have been an endless army of zombies. Nevertheless, we gradually began to gain upper hand. There was but one member of the enemy army that we were unable to suppress. Jack himself. Calling him a monster does not do him justice. To think a monster like that is Kaido's errand boy. It's crazy, huh? Fortunately, Jack was equally unsuccessful in defeating either of us either. I guess you could say that our steadfastness caused his patience to run out. So Jack is a monster, and the Duke's a monster as well. On the fifth day, he brought out his weapon, the poison gas weapon. It was all over in the blink of an eye. The slaughter gas spread across the country at the speed of an explosion. Who could avoid something like that? The gas swallowed up the entire swallowed up the entire town and half the forest. We were completely trapped, totally done in, save those who had taken refuge deep within the fortress. And as for what came next, truth be told, I don't want to remember. Answer us. Where's the warrior from Rwanda country? Not here. Oh, wow. They're going through killing people. Repeating the question whose answer they had by that point surely learned by heart. Jack's men went around destroying our country and slaying our warriors. Where is the word from the Wano country? We don't know. Particularly strong ones were crucified and tortured. Wow. Why would we harbor a Wano warrior anyway? I beg of you, stop this. Not a single person in this country has the knowledge you seek. Does it please you to cause death for so little benefit? Your actions are beyond merciless. Merciless. I won't forget that face of yours, Jack, even when I'm no longer of this world. That cat's, this cat's malice would follow you till the day it curses you to death. Torture, bro. The gruesome spectacle continued for almost a full day. 
on the sixth day, perhaps their appetite had for destruction had been sated, or they'd grown tired of hearing the same answer again and again. On the sixth day, leaving behind only a few underlings, Jack left his island. How horrible. I can't believe you all had absolutely no help that whole time. No, Jack's departure actually was the act of a savior. Huh? What do you mean? We realized only after what we had read Jack obituary in the papers. The day left, the day Jack left this country was the day you all defeated Doflamingo. Had a feeling that was tied up. Like with Luffy being Dofi, Jack had to to go save Dofi. Jack left this country in order to save Doflamingo. It seems the two are deeply connected. In other words, the ones who drove that monster out of this country were you all. I see. Well, that makes what happened soon after another even more amazing miracle. That's right. The day we arrived on Zo was the day after Doflamingo was defeated. <clears throat> Sanji. Some Sanji. That is Zo. I'm warning you. I'm against going on sh ashore. Curse you. Pipe down and carry us over there. I won't forget this, you bastards. So now we know how they got up. This place is definitely under raid. Brooke, watch over Nami-san here. I'm going to scout the area inside. Shouldn't be a problem. I'll protect old Nami too. More than this game. Bum, bro. <laughs> Someone save me. Wait up, Squirrel-chan. All I want is to crucify and chill. What? Oh, so he's going after the warriors. Sheep said. What? Did that girl just talk? What? The situation here? This guy is definitely the bad guy here, which makes the girl the victim. <laughs> Sanji logic. Grip, this way. Brooke, teach him some manners, please. On it. Soul parade. Whoa, the ground froze. I'm gonna move on. Not even gonna address this. Brooke, guy, that was that was some good stuff from Brooke. Let's get out of here. That was awesome, Bone Kitchy. Thanks, Brooke. The pile of bones that just and that eel just talked freaky. Ah, wait. Please tell us what's going on on this island right now. This place is full of gas. Ugh. Those collab bo collapsed bodies. Bodies. Are they all animals? Idiots. These are all minks. You have never heard of them. Let's just head back to the forest for now. The gas will get us too. Oi, you there. You, you, you aren't with them, are you? Well, the animal just talked. This one did too. Looks like they're still breathing. I'm Pedro. I need your help. Please. Duke Inarashi Master Nekomamushi. Please treat their wounds or they're going to perish. The world is waiting on them. Those two of all people must not be allowed to die. The world is waiting on them. Those two of all people must not be allowed to die. Hmm. Man, 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 man. Jack redeemed himself. The Dukes are somewhat more important than we know. Brooke did something amazing. Let me know what you thought about this. Jack has officially redeemed himself, like I said. So, let me know what you thought. I like it if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, that would be dope. Have a good day, people.